excuse me. So, um, I am toying with the idea of recovery because I want to want recovery because I'm not in recovery at the moment, but I'm not like severely ill and underweight and um, you know, as ill as I have been. Um, I'm sort of feeling like now is a good time to find the, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> you, sorry, <laughs> excuse me. So, I, um, yeah, I mean, like I've had uh, substance problems like way, way, big way, years before I had my children. Um, I had a problem with uh, addiction with substances and obviously an eating disorder is a lot like um, an addiction um, and to be able to stop the habit um, you have to really want to do it not just because you know it's good for you and know that you should be doing it you have got to have had enough of this crap and you want it gone um, which obviously I do want recovery because I want to be well for my children um, and I'm a wife you know I've got three children I'm 30 I've had this illness for ugh, a ridiculous amount of time since like 11 um, <clears throat> so <coughs> excuse me I, I want to be well for them and um, you know I, I don't want them to because um, obviously I don't engage in any behaviors around my children obviously but um, the older they get, they are going to pick up eventually that mummy is strange around food. And I want, before they are old enough to recognise that, I want it well and truly gone uh, from my life. Hopefully. So that's the reasons why I want recovery. But the reasons why I don't, obviously, is like the illogical part of my brain saying, you know, this is all you've ever known for most of your life. It's your best friend, even though it's not. Um, it's your security blanket, even though it really isn't. Um, and all that, all them disordered thoughts that you get where you don't want to give up your safe um, sort of default settings. So I am going to uh, test the water of recovery. So I'm gonna eat foods that I, are not my safe foods, they're my fear foods. Um, but the reason why I keep making a point of saying I am not in recovery is because I am going to be having these foods, but I'm going to be having them in really small portions. So I don't want people think being triggered or using it as a marker thinking that's a lot of food or it's a normal amount of food or whatever, because it probably isn't. Um, I am just literally pushing myself to try foods that I used to absolutely love that I am scared of eating um, just to you know give myself a bit of confidence that I can actually do this so yay hope you enjoy watching me eat <laughs> right right so this is my first challenge um, as I said you know the portion sizes are not recovery sizes it's just more about at the minute for me facing the food I'm afraid of um, in smaller sizes for now. Obviously there's a lot of salad there, um, but the pizza is rather small. Uh, but if you look at the salad, there is a lot of condiment on there, which is another fear food of mine. So and I've, I haven't skimped. There's quite a lot of that. Um, I love spicy mayonnaise, but I am afraid of it. So, yes, this is my first. Oh my gosh, I've only eaten the salad so far and I'm full, but I'm going to push on and eat the pizza. 
um, or I was, you know, I'm never going to get anywhere, am I, if I don't, you know, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> so, bring it on. Okay, I have not eaten that much food in one sitting for a long time. <coughs> um, I tend to eat little bits often rather than a lot of meals. So, oh, I feel a bit tired now. It's a bit of a soporific effect. Um, I'm really pleased with myself though because even though I was really full after the salad, which is super sad that salad makes me full, but um, yeah, I the pizza still it tasted really nice. You know, when it, once I ignored um, you know the normal thoughts of the you know <laughs> well I'm not going to trigger anybody, but that's right, the parrots nibbling me. <coughs> Are you coming up? You want some cabbage? Here you go. No. Um, once I allowed, instead of having all them thoughts that, you know, you have when you eat something that you'd rather not be, and I freed myself up and allowed myself to actually enjoy the taste, enjoy the texture. It was really good. Like, I love pizza. I always loved pizza, so... I really actually, it was nice to have some pizza. So I'm definitely going to push on and, hello. <laughs> Pikachu, this is Pikachu. She's my black headed kike. And she's wondering why I didn't share any of my dinner with her. Because <laughs> she always eats off my plate, you see. What are you doing? Hello. So. My next um, challenge is uh, another dish that I always used to love, um, but I just don't ever eat anymore, and that is um, spaghetti bolognese. So, um, like I said before, it's going to be a small portion, it's not going to be a recovery portion, it's just to get myself, um, you know, push myself really to get back into eating a variety of food. I really enjoyed the spaghetti bolognese um, more than the pizza actually which surprised me it was really tasty um, and I am feeling good about it even though I'm super super full um, I'm not gonna focus on that I'm gonna go distract myself 
in a minute. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to challenge myself at least once a day with eating something that um, is not one of my safe foods and see where it goes from there. 